My name's Jeremy Gilley. I'm an independent documentary filmmaker and the founder of Peace One Day. In July 1998, I decided to make a film about peace. Then I realised there was no day of peace. That was it. I was going to try and establish the first ever annual peace day. A day of global ceasefire and non-violence. A day for everyone to become involved in the peace process. The office was a spare room in my mum's house. I had a computer, a telephone and a handful of committed friends to help out. Over the next three years, I travelled the world to build the case, working with the United Nations, governments, Nobel Peace Laureates, humanitarian organisations and those living in conflict zones. If there is a cessation for a day, then it gives us an opportunity to move supplies safely through places that are otherwise difficult. Through time, I think it will become more and more effective. What do you think? To come to 100%, you need a lot of time. But I think the great thing is at least we've done something for the next generation. Any moment that we can give the combatants to pause, to think and reflect on what they are doing to their own people and to the environment will be a great achievement and I will support it 100%. In September 2001, the member states of the United Nations unanimously adopted a peace day, a day of ceasefire and non-violence, the 21st of September, annually. It was incredible. It was originally brought to our attention by a UK-based organisation, Peace One Day. It is so decided. The next challenge was to prove that the day could really work by stopping the fighting in a conflict zone so that humanitarian action could take place. An old friend, Jude Law, wanted to help. After a further three years of campaigning, that goal became a reality in Afghanistan, where in 2007, due to everybody's hard work, particularly the United Nations, peace day agreements were reached with all sides, including the Taliban. As a result, 10,000 health workers were able to vaccinate 1.4 million children against polio on peace day. The UN also announced in Afghanistan that on the day, there was a 70% reduction of violent incidents. It was amazing. The cynic used to say, what difference does a day make? What I saw in Afghanistan was uh, well, the difference is life or death. But whilst Peace Day is a day of ceasefire, it's also a day of non-violence, when individuals can come together to make peace. In fact, 97% of the world's violence happens in our communities, our schools, our homes, places of work. Consequently, we reach out to all sectors of society to ask everyone to become involved. <laughs> Providing free educational tools, building coalitions of corporations, NGOs and others, creating sport, music and dance initiatives, holding Peace Day celebrations featuring major artists, these are some of the many ways we spread the message. On September 21st, we will be celebrating peace on that one day. I'm delighted that Unilever is a founding member of the Peace One Day Corporate Coalition. Who will you make peace with on the 21st of September? It's all working. In 2015, we're confident that we exceeded the target of 1.5 billion people exposed to Peace Day. Iguana tiene que demostrar que queremos... The 21st of September is the day when there's the greatest reduction of violence. Peace Day is bringing the world together, and that's peace building. The International Day of Peace is a time for reflection, a day when we reiterate our belief in non-violence and call for a global ceasefire. I call on all of us to think how we can contribute to building a culture of peace in our homes, schools, and communities. So who will you make peace with on Peace Day, the 21st of September this year? Please follow us on Twitter, join us on Facebook, and get involved. By working together, there will be peace one day. <laughs>